Republican candidates for the District 4 County Council seat say budgeting is the top priority. News 18's Amber Hardwick brings us the candidates' backgrounds and why each says they would be an asset to the Tippecanoe County Council. The role of the Tippecanoe County Council is to monitor budgets and expenses. Two Republican candidates are running for the District 4 seat, a seat currently held by Andrew Gutwine, who decided not to run again. Both Stephen Connect and Sally Seagrass believe their knowledge and prior experience would make them an asset to the County Council. I felt a need to get involved now in the community. I have the time and I'm lucky enough to be retired and I have the desire and the experience. So when I was approached to run, this seemed like a perfect fit and a way for me to serve and give back to my community. Seagrist is also a Tippecanoe County native and brings a history of business experience. I think my very broad base of business experience. I've owned rental properties. I've managed financial assets and trusts. Kenneth has been an attorney and a Tippecanoe County resident for at least 30 years. His experience has allowed him to work with the judicial system and law enforcement. Those two departments are two of the three largest budget items in the county council budget. And I think that the knowledge that I've gained over the 30 years would make me a valuable asset. On July 1st, Tippecanoe County is going to have a new criminal code, which will be an adjustment for the county. Connect says his background will help the budgets throughout the transition period. A lot of criminal law work, and based on that knowledge, I think that I would be an asset as far as figuring out what needs to be done to make that transition. Both Seagrest and Connect say they know how to budget for the county and look forward to the opportunity to represent District 4. There are currently no candidates on the Democratic ticket. Amber Hardwick, News 18.